This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee Rumor has it. on the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, get ready for the Grammys because there will be a tribute performance, and that's for Nipsey Hussle. And so far, what we know is that will feature Meek Mill, YG, Roddy Rich, DJ Khaled, Kirk Franklin, John Legend, and more. So make sure y'all tune in for that. Can't wait to see it. Word. All right, now Oprah, we know she's decided to step away from that Russell Simmons documentary, but she wants to make it very clear that that does not mean that it's a victory for Russell Simmons. She was on CBS this morning, and here's what she had to say about pulling out of that documentary. It was a hard decision because I knew that Russell Simmons had started publicly pressuring me Mm -hmm. and that me pulling out of the documentary was going to look like I was being pressured. And so uh, before the public pressure had started, before Russell had gone with his Instagram, I had gone to the the filmmakers and I had said to them, I think we need to pull out of Sundance. And if we can't pull out of Sundance, I'm going to have to take my name off. You should pull right. out of Sundance so we can get it right. Yeah, and I think there's some inconsistencies in the stories that we need so, to so look at. Russ- I, I said that yesterday, though. Russell Simmons can't pressure Oprah. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 first of all, explaining your side of the story and, you know, asking Oprah not to run with what you think is lies is not pressuring her. But furthermore, Oprah Winfrey is one of the most powerful figures in the country. Russell can't pressure Oprah. Oprah reduced him to a noun. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people were going in on Oprah, though, and here's what she had to say about uh, some of the changes. I believe that the women's voices deserve to be heard, and as an executive producer, I also was in a position where I thought some things were not right. I wanted the context of the story to be broadened. I wanted more women brought into the story. So I was asking for changes. And let, let me just say this. I've been an executive producer <laughs> since the beginning of The Oprah Show. And there were many times when, you know, people are saying, what's the timeline? Until the thing is on the screen, you have the right to change your mind and make changes. I, it sounds like to me, and this is just maybe to me, that she knew that if she put this out and it wasn't right, she was going to get tons of lawsuits. So she just wants to make it uh, right. That's, that's how you should be. You yeah, shouldn't measure twice to, me. to cut once. That's what but she wants like. to be clear that it's not that she doesn't believe these the women. women yeah. And it's not that she is now saying, okay, this is my support of Russell Simmons. Right. Here's more of Oprah on CBS this morning. Some people have perceived this as a victory for Russell. Yeah. And, and Russell. This is not a victory for Russell, and I unequivocally say that I did not pull out because of Russell. I cannot be silenced uh, by a Russell Simmons after all I've been through. But Oprah, <laughs> it struck me as odd that someone accuse you of not standing up for women and black women in particular. I know. It's ridic- to me, that is ridiculous and also ridiculous to think that I could be intimidated by Russell Simmons. Oprah reduced him to a noun. She said, a Russell Simmons. You think I could be pressured by a Russell Simmons? Does and- that sound like a person who's afraid of being pressured? Stop it, man. And Oprah's also clear. She said, I've lived me too since I was nine. And I was raped at nine, sexually assaulted from nine to 14, and then Mm -hmm. raped again at 14. So she said, nothing is harder than standing up for yourself when you're 14 and not being believed. And I was not believed by my own family. So I stand in support of these women. I believe them. She did say it was, uh, she did see a lot of inconsistencies in in one of their stories, though, which she wanted filled in. Right, and she wanted more women to come Mm -hmm. and be brought into the story also, and she wanted to make sure that she got it right. So I can understand wanting to have as much research as possible, as many voices as possible. Uh, for your story. I wonder if there's anything deeper with Oprah and Russell, though, because I was thinking about this last night. Remember when Oprah uh, backed President Obama back in the day, and it's like all the prominent black people fell in line? One of the prominent black people who didn't fall in line was Russell Simmons, because he was backing Hillary Clinton. I Mm -hmm. wonder wonder if they have a little tension because of that. Could be. I wonder. Or it could be her own, like she said, personal story of what happened to her and the whole Me Too movement and her having her own uh, situations from when she was nine years old might make her feel like... You yeah, know, this you, story has to be told. Yeah, but you can't think with your your, your hurt. You got to think with your head. Just because something, you know, happened to you doesn't mean that every, you know, black man in America is doing those type of things. I don't think she said every black man. She's just talking about one in particular who's, she believes the women. And that's what she wants to make it clear. So, all right, Takashi 6 9 he was trying to get home confinement, and that's not going to happen. A federal judge denied his motion to serve his 24 months under home confinement. He said that doing the time behind bars is necessary in this case to reflect the seriousness of his crimes. He said he feared for his life because where he's currently being held is filled with bloods, and he's nervous about that. 
But I can't imagine that being home is that much safer either. I'm just saying. It'll be a lot safer than I think being in there where he can't have protection. I, I think here he'll have a 24 hour security and police officers all around him. What do you, you mean? He in jail. There's plenty of protection in jail. You got all the police around. He'll be fine. He work with them, don't he? Yeah. Don't, I, don't turn your back on your guy now, I, Mr. Officers. Yeah. Once I, they know where you live and come there, then what? And he doesn't want to be under any type of protective custody, like none of that. So his security already said they're not going to be working with him anymore. Yeah, that's their security. I'm sure he could pay somebody to do that. Somebody will take that job. Nobody is trying to put their life for somebody real. Somebody will somebody take, take that, that job. job. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's definitely, it's Absolutely. I'll be nervous to hire somebody, too, it's, because it's, that somebody might be working with those somebodies that want me. It's, it's, some, it's, some, it's some ex-Navy SEALs and military veterans. That don't care about police about officers that that'll stuff. definitely take that yep. job. Question, though. Um, they don't provide you that protection in jail after you snitch? Yeah, I mean, he's he's in prote- he's in a, in a jail with a bunch of snitches, so mm. they, they feel that he would be protected, but I wouldn't want to play with that. Mm. Not at all. All right, and they also just put out a picture of him, a recent picture of him and his girlfriend, mm-hmm. so I guess that's recent. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. 